Hey, Jared here from soundguitarlessons.com. I just want to show you a new guitar scales chart that I have that shows diagrams of the seven parent scales on guitar. These are the main scales that I recommend learning. This guitar scales chart is just a simple PDF booklet that includes the seven different parent scales showing each of them in five different positions or five different scale shapes on the guitar fretboard. And a parent scale is just a primary scale that other scales, which are usually called modes, come from. So this is just a new download that I have because I have a bunch of awesome downloads, but I never had a scales resource. So I just added this to my collection recently, and these are totally free. And you can grab this with the link in the top of the description anytime, or you can go to soundguitarlessons.com slash scales, and it'll take you there where you can download it as well. These are fantastic for working on technique or mapping out the fretboard or um, improvising and soloing, obviously very important, or composing with different types of scales and melodies. I certainly can use it for ear training or just studying music theory um, and you'll get a little introduction here about parent scales but that's what this video is about uh, so let's just jump to the main diagrams here so parent scales uh, are you don't have to call them that but it's just what we think of as like the main most obvious scale like the major scale and then with the major scale you can get access to a bunch of other flavors and sounds via what are called modes. And a lot of fancy scales we hear are just modes of other scales. So I wanted to put a resource together that was like, hey, well, here are at least all the parent scales. So if you want to, for the sake of the guitar fretboard, for the sake of your technique, for the sake of just getting these intervallic relationships down, um, it's going to make your life a much, much easier to work on these, just even just physically mapping them out on the fretboard and then wrapping our heads around, you know, what kind of, if we do want to work on modes or if we do want to um, be thinking of these as multiple scales. So for example, this is the C major scale and it's written all on C, five different positions, but you can move this anywhere. You can play the root somewhere else to have it be uh, a different scale right uh, the same exact physical shape move it up so this note is lined up with say e flat well then you're playing the e flat major scale and same with all of these so all of the scales are written with c as the root but you can move them anywhere along the neck you can move anything along the neck on the guitar that doesn't use an open string none of these use an open string so this is the major scale well if you call six the root and you just call that one and you treat that as one or you just you know flip all the numbers around but the but the physical shape of the whole scale form and all the intervallic relationships within that are the same. Physically, you're playing the same thing, but you're calling this one. Well, that is the natural minor scale. That is what people just call the minor scale. It's also the same thing as what's called aeolian mode, which is the sixth mode of the major scale. And that's the same with any of these numbers. You can call seven one and you get the seventh mode of the major scale. So I like modes a lot. I use them a lot. I think of them a lot. My last video was about singing through modes to, to do an amazing ear training exercise that, that helped me a lot. Um, but you don't have to think of modes, but uh, it is nice to just know, well, what if you do want to learn the minor scale, which is a pretty important sound and a pretty important scale and obviously the major scale. And what if you don't want to worry about any of the other modes, like the fourth mode or the third mode or Lydian or Dorian or things like that? Um, well, it's nice to know at least that physically you're covered if you just work a bunch on the major scale everywhere and then later can say, all right, now let me wrap my head around hearing the six as the root, thinking of that as the root. Um, so really distilling things into what are the parent scales? What are the main scales that I can just work on to get this down for once and for all, all over the guitar and map things out? I wanted to have a resource for that. So same with the pentatonic scale. So major pentatonic. Um, is what I put in here. And minor pentatonic is not in this download because once again, say this shape here, which is very, um, everybody kind of knows this shape, a lot of us, because it, it's one of the first thing a lot, that a lot of guitarists learn. We learn this first, um, which is just this physical scale shape. And we think of this as the root usually, which would be, this would be a minor pentatonic. But I have it written as C major pentatonic because they are the same structure. They are the same thing. So minor pentatonic and major pentatonic are modes of each other. So you can learn this physically, you can work on all kinds of um, just getting this mapped out, playing it off different routes, and then treating this later and say, do I want to think of this as minor or do I want to think of this as major, depending on the music or the context or anything like that. So instead of having some crazy huge book with all of those different scales that we might hear about, 
let's just get the parent scales down and then slowly wrap our heads around what else do those parent scales, um, what else are they used for often in terms of modes? Every mode is like modes of the pentatonic scale are not, they exist like treating the two as the root of the pentatonic scale. That's a theoretically a thing, but, but it's not really commonly or widely used that way. Really just major pentatonic and minor pentatonic, um, are really the ones that are important to know. Same with major and minor scale. If we move on here, there are other scales. So minor blues, I treat as a parent scale because you can get the major blues from it, but minor blues is um, more, I think, the primary scale type. But once again, if you play the minor blues scale, um, but if you treat the flat three of it as one, you get the major blues scale. So you get all of these other flavors to work on eventually. Little side note here, the way that I do this and I have videos on all of these scale types. So if you download this, I'll send you a link to the playlist of all the videos as well. There'll be a playlist in the link of, uh, in the description, a link in the description of this video as well. If you want to check out any of these vi individual videos on mapping these out, how to practice them, how to outline them. Um, and, and so I just want to have these resources out there. Um, but one little note about this, and you can watch the video on it if you want as well, um, with these little arrows and the um, blues notes, these are the blues notes that make it, these, this other color here, that make it the blues scale. And I like to play the blues note on, uh, th this is the exact same pitch as this. And I like to play one when I'm going one direction, and the other when I'm going the other direction. That's why they're arrows. You don't have to do it that way, but I like it because it sh maps it out for me that, okay, this note and this note are the same. And I like to slide into the note and it sounds really good. And then I'm not, I don't have a kind of a blind spot somewhere for where that blues note is because they're both on the outside of the shape. You can watch the video about the blues scale if you want to learn more about that. But here we have harmonic minor scale and one or two of the modes of the harmonic minor scale are used sometimes, but that's just the parent scale version of it. The melodic minor scale is a very common scale. This is the static version of the uh, melodic minor scale. The traditional version changes when it's ascending or descending. Like I said, I have videos on all of these. Um, and the melodic minor scale modes are used quite often in jazz or improvisation or a kind of more advanced or 20th century um, composition work. And I have a video all about the modes of the melodic minor scale too. But no matter if we're interested in, in that or not, let's just get the parent scales down first. It's just a simple chart of, of guitar scales for you. So if that is helpful for you, go ahead and download it uh, with the link in the description or go to soundguitarlessons.com slash scales. And like I said, I have videos outlining all of these individual scales as well, including the whole tone scale, the diminished scale, everything. What I recommend watching next, if you don't have a grasp on really what modes are yet still, um, I have a video all about just explaining the modes in a really great way for guitarists. So I'll put a link to that in the description. And I'll also, if you're watching on YouTube, it should pop up on the screen right here and you can click on that and go to that next. That's what I recommend watching next. I post a new lesson video every single week. Hope to see you in the next lesson. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and happy practicing.